Okay, so this was a challenge. Going into this I didn't know if it was actually possible to 3D print a mini marimba and make it sound good. Will it be too hard and just end up sounding like some weird out of tune thing? And if it works, will I be able to teach a robot how to play it for me? Is it up and down or down and up? Tuning a marimba is an art because there's no formula that can predict the irregular density of a piece of wood. Some years the tree may grow fast, and some years it may grow slow, so the process of tuning often includes fine-tuning the bards by hand, and there are even tuners that are made specifically for marimba tuning. I want to predict the sound of the 3D printed bar, so I just have to print them at the correct length and get the correct fundamental frequency, and not tinker with it after that. I should get the somewhat predictable density for the bar since the material grows like this and is printed like this. Which should mean that if it works I should be able to replicate the same fundamental frequency from two identical bars. The robot playing it needs to have two arms with wrists, a body to put electronics in and be programmable to play different songs. Let's begin. There is an equation that explains the frequency resonated from a uniform rectangular bar, but marimba bars are not rectangular. To increase the sound quality, the bars are thinner in the middle, which makes it harder to calculate. So let's test a bunch of different designs and see what they sound like. A rectangular bar to have as a reference, one with infill horizontally and one vertical. Some with rounded corners, different amount of infill and thickness, some with nodal points of different spots. This is the best shape so far. And the best mullet I found was actually a float. I can work with that. Here it is with different lengths. I am using a free spectrum analyzer phone app to determine their frequency. It's not super accurate, but I think it will be good enough. By using these bars and what frequency they correspond to, we can plot each bar and do a polynomial fit to approximate the frequency to length function. Zoom in on the frequency I want and then check what length I need. But I'm gonna change the filament color and there is a slight shift in frequency, so I have to compensate for that. I did this twice before I got an acceptable in-tune result. To boost the sound volume I made these resonance tubes and there is actually an equation for that. So no need for tinkering with this one. I solved the equation for each desired frequency and got the lengths I needed for the tubes. I had to print the longest tube in two parts since it was too long for my printer and then I super glued the pieces together. Now we just need a frame. Robot time! I glued some spare parts from the marimba and used it as legs for the body. That is a 3D printed box. The electronics is for servo motors and a microcontroller. I thought this would be the easy part, but the left arm keeps dabbing. Why are you doing this dance routine? Who are you? A smooth criminal. I need to figure out what's wrong. It is not supposed to do that. What do we have here? A broken tooth. 
I guess we can try the old school way and just boil it up and see if it works. But with just a little pressure, we are back to the crazy Jackson moves again. I'm glad I ordered some spare ones. Yes! Finally! It sweeps from right to left before it hits. And I don't have to carry it like a baby back and forth. Are you sure, Dad? Now I can set up the framework for the programming. I want a way to control the tempo so I can easily turn up or down the beat with just a constant. And set specific servo angles to each arm to correspond to the correct bar. Functions, so I just have to tell the arms where to go and then hit with a specific timing. Let's start off with something simple like Drunken Sailor. With the float arms and the ocean vibe. This was not what I intended, but um, it has a cool groove. Must be a software bug. There we go. I have this clip put up on my Instagram and also on Reddit. And boy did Reddit like it. I got awesome comments with ideas of what to do next with it. And people want the STL files for the marimba. But uh, I, sh I cheated with the glue on the resonance too. And some other parts. The bars have to be tuned to the specific filament that you use. Also I did some filing on two tubes before I changed the design. To make it fit in the stand. The pitch may also depend on other factors as well. Like humidity and temperature. But I think some of you may handle that. So I fixed some bugs and the STLs are now available along with the Python code for the bar tuning in links below. We need to step up the robot game. And I think I know just what this needs. Done, we'll take our leave and go. 